In the research we are about to review, we are going to look at basically an agent that helps in the production of more blood cells. In this case, both red and white. Now to start off with the short part, and it's going to be a little technical as far as the terminology, but we'll catch on as we go through the press release itself. We're also going to look a little bit at the abstract. But to proceed, in short, what we're looking at is a group of cells called hematopoietic or hematopoietic, however you want to pronounce it, stem cells, otherwise known as HSCs. In layman terms, blood-making cells. What this thing we reference to is a NAD boosting agent, otherwise known as nicotinamide, adenine or adenine, dinucleotide boosting agent, nicotinamide riboside. I know it sounds kind of technical, but you'll catch on. To proceed with the study as follows. Vitamin B3 analog boost production of blood cells. Stem cell based therapies becoming more and more common, especially in the treatment of blood cancers like lymphoma and leukemia. In these cases, the patient's cancerous blood stem cells are removed and replaced with new healthy ones. However, up to a quarter of the cases end in death because replenishing of blood cells is too slow. Before I proceed a little further, keep in mind this is an animal model. So there's really not any human dosaging that can be recommended to the study. However, though, the potential of nicotinamide riboside is what we're looking at, or I should say the outcome. To proceed as follows. One solution to this is to boost the divisions. Keep in mind that word division. We're trying to create more of so-called hematopoietic or hematopoietic poetic, uh, blood-making stem cells, otherwise known as HSCs. These are the stem cells that produce the various types of blood cells in our body, red, white, etc. So pushing HSCs divide faster would be ideal. The question is how. So they're trying to bring more HSCs to the table in production of uh, basically uh, red and white blood cells as opposed to making a limited number of HSCs work harder and therefore exhausting them. To proceed, all right, take that back. Let's go to the abstract. This excerpt from the abstract is a little technical, but it's important because it enlightens us a little bit later on. Quote, here we show the NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide boosting agent, nicotinamide riboside, reduces mitochondrial activity within HSCs, so it's actually having them work less, through increased mitochondrial clearance, leading to increased asymmetric HSC divisions. Nicotinamide riboside dietary supplementation results in a significantly large pool of progenitors without concurrent HSC exhaustions because you have greater division. Improving survival by 80%, this is an animal model, would explain this particular study in a second, and accelerates blood recovery after murine lethal irradiation and limiting HSC transplantation. Back to the press release. When they studied the effects of nicotinamide riboside in vitro, the researchers found that exposing human and mouse HSCs, these blood-making stem cells, to it improves their function, increases mitochondrial recycling. The process which stressed out mitochondria get cleared out to make way for fresh ones. The researchers found that adding nicotinamide riboside to the diet of mice, remember an animal model, that had undergone and undergone an irradiation procedure that eliminates their blood cells, modeling radiotherapy, improved their survival by 80% in accelerated blood recovery. In immunodeficient mice, nicotinamide riboside increased the production of white blood cells as well. Remember, we're talking a base at the HSC, blood making stem cells, to proceed as follows. What all this translates into is a significant improvement of the ability of HSCs to divide and produce new blood cells. The study shows for the first time that nicotinamide riboside as a dietary supplement can have significant positive effect on preventing blood recovery problems in cancer patients even after chemo or radiotherapy. I'm just quoting. To conclude with what the researchers say or said, we expect nicotinamide, riboside, and other mitochondrial modulators to become a complementary approach for increasing stem cell fitness and accelerating blood 
production through dietary supplementation or pharmalo uh, pharmacological, pharmacological, I apologize, administration, quoting the researchers. So what we're looking at here is basically an oral supplement that was used in the animal model. Henceforth, we don't have human dosaging recommendation as of yet. So the study is going to have to be carried out in the future, obviously, in people, not only to validate the results, to get an idea of how much will be required in order to generate these particular results in helping people produce blood cells, both red and white. So I hope you find this information of use. The links will be there to the abstract. The full uh, study is not online as of yet. But however, though, I hope you find this information of use and maybe you can uh, basically pull the information that you need from that abstract yourself. Again, we're after channel signing off. Look forward to see you all again in seven days. And thank you very much for listening and catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.